Well, it's been more than nine months since the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, and South Carolina Republicans have failed to agree on tighter abortion restrictions. And that's got some South Carolinians and even some lawmakers asking the question, well, why doesn't the legislature just let the voters decide? Well, State House reporter Mary Green joins us live in Columbia now. And Mary, could this be a question that South Carolinians see on the ballot? Well, Ann Roth, not anytime soon, but some lawmakers here at the State House say they believe putting this on the ballot is the most direct way to find out the true will of the people on this controversial issue. We have reached a place in America with abortion that every person, I, I, I mean, you know, almost every person who's an adult in South Carolina has given some thought to abortion, and I would hazard a guess that the vast majority have opinions about abortion. A January poll from the South Carolina Policy Council of likely voters of both parties asked if they would support or oppose a state constitutional amendment to restrict or ban most abortions. Nearly half the respondents said they would oppose it, while about a third said they'd be in support. Republican Senator Greg Hembree proposed putting the question to voters in a referendum during the Senate's most recent abortion debate last month. But that push failed, and so too have previous attempts at the State House recently to let voters decide directly. That's a cop out. The, the, the idea that, that we should start having having constitutional amendments for every issue. And look, we, we were elected, all of us were questioned, whether you be Republican or Democrat or whatever, everybody was questioned. What is your position on this issue? And you had to take a position. I also asked Governor Henry McMaster today if he believes this is an issue that voters should decide. He echoed Senator Massey's comments that he believes South Carolinians have made that decision through their elected representatives. The governor also said this is an issue that South Carolina can't wait until an election to figure out. Reporting live from the State House, Mary Green, Live 5 News. After months of refusing to take up the Senate's proposal for a six week ban on abortion, this session, House Republicans are poised to do just that with only one week left. Senate Republicans have urged House Republicans to take this bill up as South Carolina currently has the least restrictive abortion law in the region. Governor Henry McMaster says at this point, you have to do what's best for a majority of people. Well, you, you can't can't please everybody on all of these things. We have to do the best we can and, and move forward, make things as, as best we can. Uh, right now, we're in an untenable situation. This comes as North Carolina recently passed an abortion ban at 12 weeks.